The Fire of Driftwood by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, Devereux Farm, near Marblehead. We sat within the farmhouse old, his windows looking o'er the bay, gave to the sea breeze damp and cold an easy entrance, night and day. Not far away we saw the port, the strange, old-fashioned, silent town, the lighthouse, the dismantled fort, the wooden houses, quaint, brown. We sat, talked, until the night, descending, filled the little room. Our faces faded from the sight. Our voices only broke the gloom. We spake of many a vanished scene, of what we once had thought and said, of what had been and might have been, and who was changed and who was dead. And all that fills the hearts of friends, when first they feel that secret pain, their lives thenceforth have separate ends, and never can be one again. The first slight swerving of the heart, that words are powerless to express, and leave it still unsaid in part, or say it in too great excess. The very tones in which we spake, had something strange I could but mark. The leaves of memory seemed to make a mournful rustling in the dark. Oft died the words upon our lips, as suddenly from out the fire, builds of the wreck of stranded ships, the flames would leap and then expire. And as their splendor flashed and failed, we thought of wrecks upon the main, of ships dismasted that were hailed, and sent no answer back again. The windows rattling in their frames, the ocean roaring up the beach, the gusty blast, the bickering flames, all mingled vaguely in our speech, until they made themselves a part of fancies floating through the brain, the long lost adventures of the heart that send no answers back again. Oh, flames that glowed, Oh, hearts that yearned. They were indeed too much akin the driftwood fire without that burned, the thoughts that burned and glowed within. <laughs>